going on everybody another beautiful day here in greenville south carolina we got a, another good video to, for you today especially if you are driving an infinity q50 non-sport i should say i'll just tell you right now go ahead and subscribe you want to i know it so just do it right now save yourself the time we are going to install the paddle shifters today there's one at least one pretty good um, how-to on youtube but um i think I might as well go ahead and, and make one since we're going to do it. Kind of a step-by-step -step talk through the whole process. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. I don't have much time this morning. So let's get after it. So this is what we're working with. I found a G37 at a scrap yard. A scrap yard, a, a salvage yard, I guess they like to be called. Uh, really good shape. Almost perfect. And some of the hardware came with. So we'll find out what we're missing once we get into it. They said they normally sell them for about 220 bucks for the set on eBay. I said, yeah, I'll give you 75. They said, well, if you're local and you come and pick them up right now, we'll do 120. So I said, bang, let's we'll do it. We got the entire uh, steering column shroud with the manual tilt uh, from a website that I cannot remember. Something Infinity Parts, something or other. I'll put a link in the description below, but check them out because this is the, the best deal you'll find on this. All these, uh, the plastic covers. I called the Infinity uh, dealer here in town. They quoted me $189 for this complete package, the same, the same part number. The part number is this, 484704040GF2A. Anyway, they quoted me $189 for uh, the set. And on this website that I happened to come across, sorry for the car, 100 bucks. I think it was $119 or something like that shipped to the door and I got it in just a couple of days. So the whole uh, paddle shifter kit and uh, steering column shroud for $220, $240. First going to have to expose these little guys here on each side of the steering column and they pop out with just a small flathead screwdriver. Also I have to get the screw here. Right the both sides of the top cover. There you go. One, you just kind of have to pull out on these a little and it, it drops down. Bottom drops down like this. My new one already has the, you know, the fake leather trim piece. So we'll just pull the whole thing out of here. Um, and my top one, the new, the new one for the top, does not so we'll just connect those those clips uh, up to the new top cover in here to see if we can actually find the connections I think I can feel one and I can feel one let's confirm on this side just have to check the chunks of these the chunks the uh, little pieces of foam that are wrapped up and reveal your clip there's a couple under here this larger one I'm not a hundred percent sure what it's for maybe it was wired for um, power tilt or something I, I'm, I'm not totally sure um, but that's the that's the one we need popping this trim piece off and this pulls out relatively easily of course the last one out is tough okay and there we go so here's a profile of the two different um, covers the lower covers uh, this is the one that I had, and then this is the new one. The new one is actually a two-piece, so you have to take the second piece and it just clips right in. You don't want to clip it in right away, but when you clip it in, it'll give you the opening for the paddle shifter, so just keep them separated until you get everything uh, in place. The vinyl trim on the top piece just has these little um, push clips. Uh, you can squeeze them down a little bit and then pop out. So we'll replace that top. We'll get the uh, 
get the lower cover put on and dangling and then we'll do the paddle shifters. Really just clip right back in. Perfect. Get at those clips too, obviously it's helpful to lower the steering wheel all the way down. Opposite is true for getting uh, at the clips for the bottom portion uh, to raise the steering wheel all the way up. It's a little bit frustrating, but these uh, these clips on the very bottom just basically fall right into place and you kind of have to mess with these uh, ones up on the higher side. Um, be careful though, the tabs are pretty fragile. Uh, this one popped right in. Still working on this one, but we'll get it. Here we go. Let's do it. Little 10 millimeter head, so I'm not sure about the nuts. A little bit larger, and I'm not sure what the thread pattern is. So that's something we'll need to find out. But here we go. I thought I had gotten lucky and thought the salvage yard had retained all the hardware, uh, but really I just got the two bolts. Um, I'll put the information in the description below as far as the hardware part numbers from Nissan. It says on the website that it's not available, but you may be able to find it or at least get the, the proper thread pattern. I know it, this is a 10, mil, a 10 millimeter head on this bolt on these bolts. Again, not sure what the thread pattern is, um, but you will need a nut. And the nuts did not come from the salvage yard. Um, the nuts to go right on that little uh, stud there. So we'll get these mounted up. I might have something in the old uh, hardware bin and we'll see if we can get this wrapped up. So really easily, uh, the assembly for the paddle shifter slides over the stud, lines up with the bolt hole here, and your little, if it would focus, sorry. Uh, but the little clip comes right in, in uh, clips right in the back of the paddle shifter. It just so happened that I happened to have a couple of uh, small nuts. For what the jokes, I'll try to show you as best I can one-handed on this side, but very simple. Lines right up. Clip, easiest to clip in before you put the paddle shifter on, but now you get the idea. So I'm gonna pull it off, clip it in, and then we'll put it back on. So we've clipped the electrical portion to it, and now we'll stick it up. Easiest to tilt slightly on the stud and just kind of rock it into place. There we go. What man it is hard. Don't need to tighten down super hard. Nice. Come up, replace the two bolts that we took off. Um, don't forget your little side pieces, and um, we'll be finished. Okay. Snap uh, right into place, nice and flush. It's clipped into place, nice and tight. And now we'll just put the old bolts back in. And there you go. Big difference. Well, filming this and getting right to it, you could probably do it in less than an hour. It's a really simple install. Just be careful with the um, the uh, the plastic uh, shroud, uh, you know, the plastic column covers. Um, they're clipped in pretty good, and if you force them a little too much, they could snap on you, and you don't want that to happen. Um, the other thing is, that's it. It's really straightforward. Hopefully, the video was helpful. Um, it was quite difficult to do with just one hand. So I wanted to get highlight the main points, but I think you can handle it. Um, the only thing is to make sure, do your research and make sure that the plugins are actually there in your steer steering column. I believe it was 2014 and 2015 that had them for sure in the non-sports and some of 2016's had them, but not all. So uh, don't quote me on that, but just verify before you, you do it. But my suggestion, of course, my suggestion is to go to a salvage yard. See if there's any G37s in the salvage yard because there's a ton of those cars around. And a lot of them were getting beat up and getting wrecked. Um, and I know there's three or four in a couple different salvage yards just right around this area. And they may or may not have paddle shifters. But if you need any uh, parts that are interchangeable, check there first because you can get a great deal. Like I said, these are almost in mint condition. It was a really nice G37 that they came out of. Um, 
so it's unfortunate that that car was wrecked actually the wheels are still really good and before i purchased my wheels i was considering going for those but i know these are a hot ticket item especially online or if you're trying to buy them off somebody they they definitely want more than uh, a couple hundred bucks or a few hundred dollars if you went through uh, infinity i know they're um much more expensive uh so salvage yard's a good choice just a little tip for you well thank you very much again for watching i uh, appreciate your comments and your support and if you haven't subscribed already, please do. We got a lot of great things coming up, so uh, stick around. We should have a, a really fun and adventurous and exciting summer. So hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can stay up to date when I upload videos. Try to do two a week, and like always, thank you very much for watching. See you next time.